I suppose when you're talking about Christmas, people go back to Christmases of their youth and, um, you know, I see, I worked in the HSC there for 35 years. I had to pull out this year and, um, you know, people felt very special at Christmas, you know, and I can even remember myself, um, one of my earliest memories of Christmas is my father died when I was 11 and I was youngest of 11. But we were walking up the passage one Christmas Eve and the stars were just dancing in the sky. And I was saying, how far away are them stars now? And you know the way you'll be, the questions, you know, and my father always had great answers. And them stars there now, the gates of heaven are open. And there are all the angels and all the people that have gone before them. And they're all watching down just on you. And they're twinkling just for you. And he went on that, you know, that always remember that you're special. You're special. Nobody else can do what you do. They don't smile like you. They don't sing like you. They don't talk like you. You know, and I think people have forgotten in life that they are special. That I'd always remember that conversation. And like if uh, others could do what we do, they'd be here doing it. That we wouldn't have to do it. And I think people forget how special that every human being is, that every person is, and that their worth is only what they can bring to this world, do you know? And I remember then going up further and the, the spring, the lights and the Christmas tree. And it wasn't as though we had a whole pile, but um, uh, we'd bring in holly for Christmas and we hadn't much, but we had a lot. And I suppose, and my father, I suppose, always instilled in us that happiness comes from within. And it wasn't what we get, it's what we can make out of Christmas and make out of any situation. Mm. That, um, do you know, and I see even like working the HSC there and I've been working a lot of Christmases, but people give a lot, staff give a lot, people coming in to see their people on Christmas Day. It means an awful lot that even getting a letter, you don't have to call. Once you remember them, like somebody might get a letter that never gets a letter and they'd be saying, come here, come here, come here. I got your letter today. Will you read it for me? Now, you might be the 30th person that have read that letter today, but they were special and they were thought of and somebody wrote to them. Do you know? Mm. And um, I suppose like just to think of it like that, that make some effort, make a phone call. We can't always be there now, but you know, make a phone call, write a letter, do something to make somebody else feel special.